Yeah, I'm going to say all praises and honor to you, how? But I shame you, I shame you, I shame you, I shame you, And Dublin has to be a pastor and elders of Great Men Stone. Shout out to one of my brothers and I'm out there pushing through in our sincerity and our honesty. You know, this is a brother from James Mega Camp. I'm Yashamai. Shabal. Yashamai. I war. I know one of my videos on um, World War III, you know, Third World War, you know, because, you know, scripture speak about um, three wars, a three war, you know, World War I. You know, World War II and World War III. You know, and we know so before this um third ways war um destruction kick off full fledged. You have certain prophecies, you know, where basically come to pass. You know, like for example, when the main prophecy, the RFID Michael Chip, which is the mark of the beast, you know, you have certain early prophecies, you know, the family of the world. You know. I was seeing it we see the preparation taking place, you know, and it elect. You know, you look up a seal according to the scriptures. If I say you have four angels, I will have four rings of the earth. I say I'm earth at the earth, not the sea, until you have a seal, the servants of our power in your forehead. You know, and hey, we see you know, what's taking place now right across the world with this whole e with the economy right now. You know, and what happened, what's happening now with the nations in America. And you have Joe Biden coming to power now. You know, say, in clear to say, he can, can, can heal America. You know, we should go back to what? Now go up to the scripture. Because the scripture speaks about these things yo. Right? You can't bring it to brother? Alright. Start at verse 6. Alright, so this is Jeremiah 51 and verse 6. So flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Can't this person say flee out of the midst of Babylon? Talking about, you know, um, spiritually. You have a flee, you have a turn from this way of life. Turn from this American dream. Uh, uh, wake up out of this American dream. Crazy and Super say, rise here and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? See, so I have a turn from this way of life and turn back to your house, Hashem and Shai. You know, talking to our people. You know, if you want to look at here, you know, among so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. You know, why time is supposed to a turn from this wicked society? You know? Super says, I time to awake, out of sleep, because now is our salvation nearer than when you believe. Continue, brother. All right, be not cut off in her iniquity. Be not cut off in her iniquity. What? Right? Yeah. Right, for his. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. But this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. We live at the time of the Lord's vengeance. We live at the time when the Heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh, you know, but Hashem Yahweh is going to judge America. You know, for all the wickedness America has been doing over the years. You see, at that time period, we right now. Go on. And he will render unto her a recompense. Go on. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Talking about America. Go on. That made all the hurt drunk in the nation of junk. Junking of her wine, okay. therefore the nations are mad. All these nations you know, following the ways of America. You know, America philosophy. You know, yeah. America way of life. You know, like the democracy. So I know all these nations fell upon tired America. Because they've been following America ways for so long. And you know, you're going to be basically um, destruction unto them. You know. So now they've fed up on tired America. They've hungry with America. Right? What? We see it. Um, Babylon is suddenly fallen God? and destroyed. All ye. For her, hold for her, God, right? Take, take bomb for, for her pain, God. If so, she may be healed. If so, she may be healed, God. Verse nine. So we would have healed Babylon, what? But she is not healed. So America now go heal. So our, our, our Joe Biden say, you know, when Donald Trump will come and say, I'm gonna make America great again. So I'm gonna feel one thing. So I'm gonna heal Babylon. We in a time of America destruction. God. Is it in a time period in the right now? America is finished. Up. And get them time for rain, now we come at them, now we reach what? The end of them, 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 them rulership here. Right. So we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. God save her. And, um, and let us go, everyone, into our own country. Um, for her judgment, reach it unto heaven, Man. and it's lifted up even to the, um, to the sky. Come on. Come on, brother. Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Con. For thou shalt no more be called the tender and delicate. Con. So it's what said, thou shalt no more be called what? tender and delicate. You know, because, you know, when I tell you, know, all these dishes are going to shoot. You know, I see a missile, you know, on America. You know, in you know, a joke, they say, um, before them, before the ICBM missiles them, it's like what? America is what? Like the Garden of Eden. Con. And behind them, a desolate wilderness. And what can take place? You know, in the land of America, America become a 100% desert. 
Now Joel 2, right? My says, brother? He says, take the millstone and grind meal God. and cover thy locks, make oh. beer the legs and cover thy ties. More. See? Mm -hmm. Pass over um, the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. I know right now we live in a time now when um, all these nations, you know, seen, seen America shame you. Since America is finished. These so called Chinese say Amer America uh, America is finished. So then they might try, you know, to come up and you know, come, come, come be the next World big the next big um big um big guy on the, on the block here. Can. Which should not gonna happen. You know, because after this coming destruction, you know, our kingdom gonna be a um, be um, establishing the earth yo. So as he saw good and more now come up, can now Ishmael, now all the other nations, man. Israel, um, kingdom will be get set up to the point speed of the hour by Shin Shah. Says again, verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Can't say Lord Yahweh shall say I'm gonna take vengeance and I'm gonna meet thee as a man. You know, now come up. We will be a scholar and nail him up on a cross. You know, again, he will come up with that angelic force. You know. So if I say, um, vengeance is in my heart. You know. I mean, so long, you know, holding him in peace. You know. But wait for the time, you know, to come and, you know, take what is basically a rifle for Israel. Come back, come deliver Elek and remove the so called white man from out of power. This is right, right? Man. Um, This is the article from RT News, it's um, November 8, 2020. It says, um, fall, fall from, fall out from COVID pandemic, risk sparking World War III, warns UK defense chief. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says, um, it says, as much, as much of the world still grapples with COVID-19, mm -hmm. UK's top military commander has warned that the economic, um, ramification of the pandemic could lead to a third world war. Right. Mm -hmm. this, you know, I can't do, I can't do my prophecy. Can. It's gonna be a third world war because I written the scriptures it take place. Right? Mm -hmm. It says General Nick uh, General Nick Carter, the chief of the UK's defense staff, said the rhythm of history suggested that the outbreak of global conflict is a possibility because of the uncertainties caused by the coronavirus. The general cautions that Britain and the international community would need to learn from history in order to avoid um, the, mis the missteps that sparked the 20th century world wars. So, the, the, yes, the the world War One, and World, world War Two. And, and no matter what they want to do, they know it is it's written say it's gonna be a third world war destruction. So no matter what he saw, you don't want to try, World War III is gonna take place because it all go back to Bible prophecy. Everything was predestined. In Revelation 11 and 14, brother. Right. This is Revelation 11 verse 14. One. So the second war is passed. The second war is passed is basically like World War II. So World War II is, is passed, one. And the old. The third war will come in quickly. And behold, the third, third war coming come quickly. Yes, the third war is what? Uh, World War Three. So World War Three will come quickly. It says, do it. Scripture said, do it, tarry, wait for it, man. <laughs> the vision is yet for an appointed time. And the initial speed. Yeah. I'm not lying. This is Jeremiah 50, verse 9. What? It says, For lo, I will rise and cast to come up against Babylon. So, what? And assemble, uh, and assemble of great nations. So, an assemble of a great nation. For the cope against uh, Babylon, which is America. What? From the north country. So, they want to take America from the north. What? And they shall set themselves in array against her. God. From thence she shall be broken. Shall be taken. Oh, like, from then she shall be taken, what? their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. So of a, a, of arrows, a mighty talking about what? The ICBM missiles, that will be a, 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 a mighty expert man. man. What? 
None shall return in vain. None shall return in vain. That's the second Ezra. Ah, my 16. He said, None never be a scary miss. You can't bring it up, brother. Did I finish? Second Ezra 16 and verse 1 is a won't woe be unto thee Babylon and Asia. Can't say she was a woe be unto thee Babylon, which is America and Asia. The so-called Chinese things so don't come here with the next superpower. She was a woe be unto you and Babylon and Asia. So now get it too. So called Chinese I'm gonna get it too. And what? Um Egypt. Second, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Wind up yourself with cloth of sap and hair. Beware your children Can. and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Uh, your destruction, destruction is at hand. hand. See? What? Right. So it's um, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back. Can. A sword is sent upon you, sent upon America. I see the missile of shooter, you know, in the land of America. And who can turn it back? Who can stop them? The very father, you have a spirit of going with these missiles. Right. The spirit of to them as well. I live only for the army in a Joel, in a Joel too. What? So a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? God. Uh, the plagues are sent unto you, and who, and uh, who is it? Who is he that may drive them away? God. Um, let's see if you can. Yeah, can. Can. Now verse thirteen says, "For strong is the right hand that bended the bow, can. and his arm, stuck, and his arrow that he shooted are sharp." Can. And and shall not miss. So none of them ICB missiles are going to miss you. Tell the American that the lake of fire, they yeah, will mention the revelation. What? So when they, are, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. God. Exactly. So, um, Isaiah 13 and verse 4, he says, it says the noise, the noise of a multitude in the mountain, like as of a great people, a tumult of noise of the kingdoms of nations right. gathered together. But I'm talking about what the, the, the war what takes place in you know, the Middle East, you know, according to um, Joel 3 and 1. The Bible says, I'm going to all nations, I'm going to bring them um, down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I'm going to plead with them there for his people, right. um, Israel. You know, basically, so can white man set amongst all these nations. So, all these nations are going to fight against each other, you know, you know around the Persian Gulf, you know, the Valley of Decision. This is what the noise of a, a multitude in the mountains, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations. Can what? Gather together. Gather the, together. What? The Lord of hosts muster the host of the battle. So, even if I don't want to basically bring forth this destruction, destroy those who are destruction. What? Yeah. Says they come from a far country. Talking about what the ICBM missiles them. Intercontinental ballistic missiles gun um, from from the end of heaven, gun. even um. the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, even the Lord Yahushai and the weapons of his indignation, gun. what to destroy the whole land, to destroy the whole land of America. This is a future prophecy, you know, where both take place. Gun. It says, Hold he for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall gun. come as a destruction. From the Almighty. Go on. So they will follow the one hour, bring this destruction you. Yeah, we're in that time. Go on. If we can just um we heard a point from our scripture. Um when, when Joe Biden I make him speech, he quote a scripture. Well, he never quote the scripture, he was roughly power quoting. Say so, um to every time there's a season. Can you think you are season? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. see me? But if him the truly know the time and the season where we can because then he go and say he might go heal America. Heal America. <laughs> see, <laughs> and he's can't, isn't it? <laughs> it's not a time of healing, man. It's a time of war. The time I mean, I yeah, man, said, um, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3 and we start verse 1. It says, For everything, there is a season and a time to be purpose under the heaven. It's right? done. Right? It's a time to be born and a time to die. A time, a time to plant and a time to pluck up can. that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. Right, a time to break down, a time to build up. Right. Now it's not the time to heal, man. God, the scripture right. tells him. <laughs> because if I have a heal Babylon. <laughs> yeah, heal Babylon, man. Jump, right. jump a verse yet? Yeah, man. Yeah. Say, um, jump a verse yet. Say, um, 
a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. A time of what? War. war. We're in a time of peace. Yeah, man. God. This is how always take place in right now, right across the world. We're in a time of peace. We're in a time, time of, of war. Third man. world's war, destruction. We're in a time of the time of Jacob's trouble. We're in mm -hmm. a time of race war. You know? Civil war. Civil, war. Civil, Civil unrest. unrest. Scripture tell you about Famine. it. Famine. You know? At the, at the time period we live there right now. Woe is me, woe is me. Right. <laughs> Zin? Why, um, can I tell you the scripture? Alright, it says, it says, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Right. See? And, and, they, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. Right. They shall be in pain as a woman that travail it. Because this person they shall be in pain as a woman that travail it. You know, because you know all the war they are fighting you now. Over the, over the east, the World War One and World War Two fight. You see, but what will take place this time around? You know, America going to get the fool in the stick you. In the Middle East, you have people. You know, they're them wedding or they're in the market. You know, a missile fire. Funeral. A funeral. <laughs> missile is fire. Exactly. And blue, exactly. everything does. You know, everything does. You know, blast away. Yeah, but this is the world people use them type of thing. Yeah, like place like in you know, Yemen and them thing them. Because when them um um saw the um them saw the saw the force collision force with the U US yeah. a strike Yemen and them place them in. That's the thing with them go on with men. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, the scripture tells us because of men's blood. <laughs> Zin, you know about cook men. But we based on how them do why them comfortable because over this side of the world never see such things. Which is right, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Them not fear run from missile or one life. I miss out of a job in them house and you know. Mm. See them never see certain things, man. And when they, when when um them see it over the Middle East with US and all of them things, eh, they don't really think of the as, as nothing, as if their life mm. are better or more than the lives of, of those that you know. Like like what Jamaicans might say them, we are blessed. Exactly. We are blessed. A priest of Pastor Spark of Fire, what do you say? He says um Um Second Peter 3 and 10, he says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the element shall melt with fervent heat. God, what about this called the melt all all these elements? The ICD and missiles. They will melt every single thing you know, in the basically land of America. And also um, the land of Israel. Because God. the land of Israel is gonna get purged by by ICD and missiles. You know, we know that um, America is gonna shoot off you know them ICD missile also. You know, and China and and Russia, you know, certain other part of the world gonna hit we get hit. But we know say America can't buy prophecy, gonna become a hundred percent desert. But they really far done with America. Hey, I'm, I basically the point where they try to get from that, where the accuracy about when that's about the um people in Yemen and them places them used to bombing. But over on this side, people are used to that style of men, see? So so the 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 day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night upon them men. Because when a thief are coming and when they're coming, see? Then they make no plan with you, so they might come tonight or come that time or come this time here. A thief just pop up and take what they take. And so, it will come from them people here because they're in a comfort zone now. See? Yeah. So, she say a man will cry like a woman when she's real. Because something will come from them when they never expect me. Yeah. It's like it's like how we watch it, um, the video and see the house of break off of the, um, of the hillside. Yeah. And, and I hear the, the woman, they must scream. A scream, man. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> world chase, when world chase in, get, get click. God. Is it, man? <laughs> hey, that come like, it come like the world stop. It says, um, again, it says, um, um, here, it says, Carter said, there was a risk that an, um, optic in, um, regional conflicts around the world would spiral into a full blown war as was seen in the run up to World War One and Two, mm -hmm. see? Because hey, you have all kind of difference. As, as the scripture said, the, 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 the article said, with the economic ramification we are going now, see? Because even before you have run up to World War Two, you have, all, you have the Great um, what, the Depression in that time, the global the Great Depression, trade war, the trade currency, war, war. currency war, and all of them things, man. So guess what? We are going at a time that we see all of this are up and over again. And they, they, we are going out, as they must say, they've been, they been talking about a recession, a real, a real recession coming. And the bubble, I go burst and all that, man. See? Mm -hmm. 
Hey, the whole fossil fuel thing when I must them I try to get rid of with you the new world order. See? America live off of what? Fossil fuel man. See? And if they remove that fossil fuel from America, America gonna become what? I go be I, I become a, a, actually a country where I go look up to other countries, man. Mm-hmm. Because they're they not gonna be the leading dollar in the world no more. They're not gonna be the picture um the way the, the picture dollar no more. Yeah, they're gonna go to work basically yeah, for salvage and pride. Salvage and pride. You can't. Yeah, I mean because as this as Yaka said, this the whole system will move away from America. Man. Yeah. You know? Or was moving like you know by <laughs> yeah, boy, anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it was going one direction yeah. man, and, and America yeah. had, you know I mean invested so highly in, in um in fossil fuel. Fossil fuel man. Is it man? So so basically, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what um, it says. Uh, the military ve- veteran argued that with the world being a very uncertain and anxious place because of COVID nineteen, there was the possibility you could see escalation led up the miscalculation it says we have we have to remember that history might not repeat itself it's gonna come see the scripture says there is nothing new under the sun man <laughs> see prophecy. yeah prophecy man prophecy have to happen man right. history might not repeat itself but it has a rhythm and it and if you look back at the last century before both world war both world wars i think it, it was um, unarguable that there was escalation which led to the miscalculation which um, ultimately led to war. It's coming, man. Right. Um, this is um, Revelation 18 and verse, um, point, uh, verse 15. And, uh, so the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment. Right, talking like about America. Weeping and wailing. All these um, men by sea, they bring them goods to America. Mm-hmm. They come rich of America. When they see America burn, they don't go bad. Mm-hmm. Why, why they don't go cry? Because they're not going to make no more money of America. Right, they mm-hmm. come rich of America. Right? What? Right? Uh, just to show you, um, that you're speaking about America, it, it, mm-hmm. uh, this is Revelation. 17 and verse 18 he said the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth yeah america is that man the hammer of the earth as we this picture there for them to men as Jack said um one of the main places where people go one of the main market basically trade, is, a trade is america yeah you know? i know i know only for country i lose out because of the whole um and not, not just the covid 19 but because of the whole um tariff thing with the trump push and the sanction very much over other countries man Mm-hmm. A lot of countries are lose out you know, with, with, with the trade route. So it's uh, um, a, saying, Alas, alas, that great city right, that was clothed in, in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Right? Speaking about the, the warrior right in the base. Warrior, can, can. So far in one hour, such great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the countries. All the company of ships and sailors, as many as trade by sea, stand afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? God, a lot of people say that. Even when people are out here say, Which, which no. country is like, uh, uh, like America? They must say America is the greatest country, man. You, you have some fool out there that talks about why, um, if a war if you go on, certain countries can't beat America. America is the strongest country when it comes to military, man. Eh? That's why they mean a strong illusion yeah. say it will be healed. Yeah. You know it's gonna be discharged. It's, a, it's a, um verse 19. Say, and they cast dust upon their head and cry, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city we are in, we were made rich. Gun. All that had ship in her in um all that had ships in the sea by a reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate? One hour, okay. America take basically get destroyed. Take years, pant up years to build. And one hour, they really fall out, take basically destroyed. They learn of America. Quick, one hour. Very uh, quick. It's a rejoice over her, though heaven, and ye, right, holy apostle and prophet. Right. For God had avenged her on you. Okay. Avenged right, her. Eh? Stuck here. God had avenged you on her. Right, exactly. Right. 
So really far going to judge America. America going to judge for all the wickedness here. Especially when you talk about people. That was right, man. I said, can I just 20 tell you, man, about it? The Lord said, I'm going to gather the kings of the earth, man. So verse 21 says, And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall not be found any more at all. Exactly. America cannot be healed, man. Cannot be healed. This is the time of them judgment. This is the time of them destruction. Right? So that I say, I praise the Lord, and I say, I wash my hands, I wash my hands, I wash my hands. And the woman asked the pastors and elders of Babylon's throne, Shalom to all our brothers and mothers, and I push his throne. In our sincerity, in our analysis, Shalom.